Musus, how are you doing? Today I am recording this video as a Q&A because I have noticed many questions on the comments and I want to answer some of them with more detail. You know that I always answer like all of your questions and your comments on YouTube but this time I want to go a little bit deep on details. So here are some of the questions. The first question is from um, Riley Newcomer and he's asking how many language do you speak? Uh, I know you're from Mexico and the native language of Finland is Finnish. Do you speak English, Finnish and Spanish? The answer is yes. I do speak Finnish, Spanish and English and Finnish I will say like I speak it quite fairly. I am not a pro in Finnish language but I do understand it and I give myself to understand every time and I speak it a little bit more than basic level. So yeah, I speak three languages. I have studied some other languages in high school and university like French and Italian, a little bit of Korean but I think those are like really really basic. Like I know a couple of words and a couple of sentences and that's about it. The second question comes from uh, Miriam, Miriam Iniguez, Miriam Iniguez, and she's actually asking in Spanish, but I'm gonna translate this into English. She's asking, why did we decide to move to Helsinki and start a minimalist lifestyle? Uh, if you have seen my past videos, you might have seen that we are starting to be minimalist, or at least we have been trying to start that lifestyle from now on. And the reason is because we, over the years, we have gathered a lot of stuff. Since Yuha and I moved together, we have gathered like a lot, a lot of stuff. And over the years, we have lived in different countries as well. That has led us to change houses many times. So we have moved from our apartment at least six to seven times during the last three years I guess and that's quite a lot of move moves movement or something oh well, that's quite a lot of work and to be honest I have been I, I am exhausted of doing that I am tired of having to pack like all the things that we have and then unpacking them again and then replace them into places so that's like quite tiring and because of that thing or because of that reason I decided to get rid of most of our stuff, like things that we really don't need and we have been trying to go into this like minimalist, minimalist <laughs> lifestyle or at least we are trying to, we are still in the process like we got rid of a lot of our things like for real but we are still on the process okay guys so we had to move a little bit in this side because outside there was like this big cloud and it started to rain a little bit and we got home and suddenly there's sun again <laughs> so i think i'm gonna end the video right here and later on we can go outside again and make some more videos for you guys so the next question was uh, yeah we were talking about the minimalist life and why are we turning like this so i already told you that well it's basically because we have a lot of stuff and we're moving all the time so we would like to reduce as much as things as we can and then just have the really basics, like things that we only need. Emmanuel Nunes, and he says, Hi, I'm from Brazil, moving to Helsinki for a semester. Do you have some tips about adaptation? And do you, do you have a hard time to get used to the country? I will say I really didn't have a hard time time adapting to the country I am like at the beginning I didn't really have a hard time to adapting to the country because everything is new everything is like a surprise for you so like every single day you learn something new from the country so I think it depends on the attitude you have like when I first came here for me it was like okay this is like in my mind there was like okay everything <laughs> When I first came here, I was an exchange student, so for me everything was like a new experience and something to discover 
So every every new food I had a chance to try, I did try it. In that time I was still eating meat, so I did try like reindeer and many kind of different of meats. So yeah, I didn't really have a had a hard time adapting. And some tips about adaptation. I think you just have to be open-minded. You have to be open-minded about the culture, about the way they eat, about the way they do things. So you have to be patient as well. So I think I think most, most mostly is that like be patient and be open-minded. Hamunugan. I'm sorry, this name is really hard to pronounce. But she's saying expensive. How can an international student survive four university years in there? And how about clothes, makeup, sports, and media in Finland? Uh, okay, well, you will survive four years of university if you have money. <laughs> That's easy. You really need to have the money and you really need to ha have in mind that in Finland it's really hard to find a job if you don't speak the language. So I think you must be prepared to come to Finland with enough money. Like if you're a foreigner and uh, you want to come to study in Finland, you have to plan your trip and you have to have enough money on your saving account so you will survive here for four years. Don't, don't, don't keep in mind that, okay, I'm gonna find a job and I'm gonna work and stuff like that. I wouldn't be that positive about finding a job, especially in, I don't know, like for example, you ask Kula or something, when there's like a lot of competition for jobs and they will rather give them to the Finnish people. So just have enough money on your account when you come here. And well, about the other question, I think I can make a new video about it. So, yeah. Again, the, the name is really hard. The next question is from the good Kamai to Nigun. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Why do you have such a hard names? Um. Okay, he's asking or she's asking. I want to study in Finland, but I don't know clearly about the cost of living. Is it enough if I have 600 every month? I think I have answered this question already on my video of studying in Finland and yeah, I think 600 it's enough money to live in a small city not like Helsinki for example and the police office or like the immigration office when, when you're applying for your visa to come to Finland they're gonna ask you for minimum 700 euros every month on your bank account in order to be allowed to have a student visa. But you can check more details on the video there. Yeah. On the M. Cuisine ask how long have you been living in Finland and can you speak Finnish? I have been living in Finland since 2008 and yes, I can speak Finnish. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Everest Felix is asking, whoa, how about job over there? How about it? <laughs> well, finding a job in Finland is quite hard for undergraduate foreigners. Like, if you don't have a degree yet and you're planning to come to Finland without being graduated from a university, it's gonna be really hard for you to find a job. But most of the cases and most of the things that I have heard is that people that come to Finland with already like that or blah, blah, blah. people that come to Finland that is already graduated and people that is like for example graduating in Finland I think it's, it might be easier to get a job for them but during these years right now it's been said a lot that the recession is hitting Finland finally like the recession that hit all like Greece, Spain and Portugal like it's hitting Finland right now so there's a lack of jobs even for Finnish people and the unemployment rate has been the highest from like many years I am not sure about the facts but it has been the highest so far so I don't know you make your conclusion Eduardo Grisales Jaramillo 
And then again, we, we have a same question about how important is the Finnish language to find work. It's really important, like you really, really need a Finnish language if you want to work in Finland, other than like having cleaning jobs or like basic jobs where you don't need to speak at all. And even there, like even if you want to apply for like cleaning jobs, they will ask you for a basic amount of Finnish. So it is quite important. So that was it for this week, guys. I hope that you liked this video. If you want to have more videos like this one, more Q&As, uh, well, you can follow me on my social media like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and so many others that I have around like Vine and Periscope and I don't know. Just look for... Ah, I also have Snapchat, but I haven't used it actually that much. But yeah. Go to my social medias and if you want to ask a question, just use the hashtag tell me more Picutani and I will be glad to answer them in a future video. Uh, so I hope that you have a <laughs> I hope that you have a great week, a great month and a great day. Uh, that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos about Finland and see you later. <laughs> bye bye! Oh, by the way, I'm uploading videos, or at least I'm trying to upload videos like every Wednesday. So if you're waiting for more My Swami Finland videos, just be aware that it's coming every Wednesday. Or yeah, every Wednesday. I'll try, really. Last Wednesday I was not able to upload one, but I'm gonna make my best to put them every Wednesday. Okay, I love you, Moses. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. Bye bye. Vámonos, vámonos, va a llover, it's gonna rain, we have to escape, it's just when it was nice and we came out to take the sun, yeah, it's gonna rain, let's go back home, casi, vámonos, es que lo más gracioso, que cuando lleguemos a la casa, va a salir el sol, ya sé, y no va a llover, casi, vámonos,